hello there this is ion roy from grabchat and this video is all about how to fill these backdrop gaps in photoshop there is total two techniques the first one is we will select a particular part of the image and expand that to fill the gaps and the second one is we will simply use content aware fill so let's see the first technique we will select rectangular marquee tool or any selection tool then we will select a particular part of the image like so now to expand the selected area we will press ctrl plus t that will give us the option of pre transform then press and hold shift and click and hold on this white dot and take it up when you're done hit enter or you can just click on this arrow button done now to deselect this selection press ctrl plus d now we can apply the same technique here so select the area press ctrl plus t press and hold shift and drag it towards right side done now hit enter now to deselect the selection press ctrl plus d now we can't use this technique here because there is not enough room to select a part and then expand it in here we will just use simply content aware fill to use content aware fill we have to just select the part which we want to fill with content aware fill select this tool i am selecting this quick selection tool we can just press w to select it easily and then just select this area select little more now we have to delete this area because this area also belongs to the subject now to delete this area we have to select this tool which comes with this minus icon this tool will remove the selection from the existing selection right select this tool and click and drag over the extra area now the selection is complete now to fill the area with the background we have to go to edit then content aware fill now we can see this area is filled with the subject which we don't want we will remove those area which we don't want to be selected or sampled from so we will remove these area just remove this by the way how i am removing this area i am selecting these tool first of all select this and then select this tool which coming with the minus icon this means we can remove this selection with this tool now you can see this is perfect when you're done simply hit ok press ctrl plus d to deselect the selection and done now you can see some areas are different with colors we will fix that so first of all we have to just merge these layers select these two layers press ctrl plus e to merge it then make a copy of that by pressing ctrl plus j and just unlock this layer by clicking on this lock icon now we are going to apply or use frequency separation to blend the color for arranging purpose this is for only colors and this is for details so just to keep the color we will just blur this image come to filter blur gaussian blur zoom in increase the radius gradually and stop on the point where details are going away so this is perfect there are no details on the backdrop hit ok now in this color layer now there is only colors there is no details everything is blurred right now we will just put details on these details layer to do that simply come to image apply and select just color layer it means it will subtract this layer subtract this color layer from this details layer and to subtract the color layer we have to change the blending mode from normal to subtract scale 2 and offset 128 hit ok select the details layer and change it to linear light now select color layer select mixture brush tool weight 20 flow 16 that's ok and just blend the colors done press ctrl plus 0 to fit the image into the canvas this is how you can remove the backdrop caps from an image thank you so much for watching and with this this video is ending see you in the next one